Um, we need to order the Waitley Select Board of March 10th, 2021. First item on the agenda is approval of minutes, meeting minutes of February 24th, 2021. I, I move the motion we, uh, the minutes. Minutes. Second. Okay, we'll uh, call second. the vote. Vice Fred, yes. Aye. Okay. Vendor and payroll warrants. Any comments? I signed them, I think, last week. You should have seen them. Yeah. No, no comments. No. Okay. Moving on, public comment section. Anybody here from the public that wishes to to make comments on anything not listed on the agenda. Okay, moving on. I see we're on time for our first appointment at 6.05. Quanquat uh, Farms is, wants to discuss their seasonal liquor license fee for a calendar year 2021. And we have, I see Allison Bell and Leslie Harris Hi, I'm Janelle. I'm, Janelle. I'm the event okay. manager with the farm. Okay, go ahead. I'll let you speak. Yeah, thanks for having us this evening. Um, we were just hoping um, to request your consideration for a uh, waiver or reduction of our liquor license fee for the 2021 season. Um, we were unable to use our license last year due to the pandemic. Um, so we were hoping for some consideration towards our 2021 license. Okay, and it's my understanding, I think Brian is somewhere, that the, the fee is half of what the regular fee is. So it was like what, $1,200? So the paperwork we received does still have um, the 1100 listed on it. 1100 Okay, and and you're not you're not open till what April? Um, May, about mid May this year, we'll open, and we close at the end of October. Okay, and do you have events already scheduled for starting in May? We do. Yep, um, starting late May, we have some events scheduled. Okay, and. Uh, Um, and I guess, could, could you clarify what exactly are you asking us for? Yeah, so um, we, we're hoping for a reduction in our fee, um, our licensing fee. Um, like a, can you be more specific? About oh, sorry, your um, audio cut out a little bit. Were you looking? Could you be more specific about how much of a reduction you're looking for? Yeah, um, I, I think a 50% reduction would be pretty reasonable for us. It would help us split some of the costs between our inability to use our license last year. Um, I think that would be what we were hoping for. Okay. Uh, what did we do for other establishments, Brian? I know we, Whaley Inn was a reduction. And what do we do for castaways? Uh, castaways had a castaways had a full waiver of their fee for last year. Uh, no, for the upcoming year. For the upcoming upcoming year. Right. Yeah, I think they said because they they can't even partially operate. Right. And uh, I was actually not in favor of giving them the whole reduction, but I was outvoted on that one. Um, uh, and uh, the other one we had was Waitley Inn, uh, where they asked for a 50% reduction because they were, uh, they were able to operate, but not fully the way uh, they would, might normally operate. I would, I would certainly support a 50% reduction in the fee for the coming year. I think that's um, eminently reasonable to do in this situation. Okay, is that a motion you're making? Oh, I'll make that into a motion. <laughs> I move that we reduce the fee for the uh, seasonal license 
for Quonquant Farms to uh, 50%. Okay, I'll second that motion. Any uh, further discussion from anybody? No? Okay, we'll call vote. Joyce? Aye. Fred, yes. If, hey, Fred, on, on this topic, we're also going to need a motion to um, uh, to consider the renewal of their seasonal uh, liquor license as well. That paperwork is due at the end of March. Oh, so, so I need so I yeah, you need a, a motion to uh, to approve their, you know, their seasonal liquor license, which I, I assume is <laughs> you'll approve. But I make a motion that we approve their seasonal liquor license. Second motion. Oh, I'm sorry, and um, it needs to be contingent on um on the submission of the complete renewal paperwork. Oh, okay. All right, I would like to change. I withdraw that motion. <laughs> I'd like to submit a different motion. Uh, I'd like to move that we uh, approve the seasonal liquor license for Quonquant Farm conditional on uh, submitting the required paperwork. Okay, second the motion. Any uh, discussion? No, roll call vote. Joyce? Aye. Fred, yes. Okay. Okay, thank you, Janelle, Allison, Leslie. Thank Have you a very good much. year. <laughs> thank you, you too. Okay, moving on. Uh, COVID 19, state of emergency. Uh, Brian, we've got the regular uh, resolutions, and then the second part is to consider opening town offices for three days a week. Yeah, um, okay. One of the things that I just want to discuss is um it, it's related to this it, it's the library um there's some i guess there's some there's some question as to as to whether the the select board needs to um essentially op vote to open the library um to um i think it would be in person uh in person browsing by appointment um I don't think that's the case. I think that the opening and closing of the library is um, within the jurisdiction of the library trustees. Um, so I don't think that this board would, would take a, a vote on that, but um, they did pose the question and I was just um, wondered if the board had any thoughts on that. Um, again, I think, it's, I think it's in the control of the library trustees. They should obviously consult with the Board of Health as to its opinion when, it, when is an appropriate time. Um, but I, I guess an advisory opinion maybe from, from this board would be useful to them um, or thoughts. Well, okay, well, but what do we do for the, for the school, for the elementary school? I mean, we don't have a say in that. It's up to the school board or school committee, right? So. The school committee, yep, in consultation with the board right. of health, so, right. yeah. Even though it's a it's a town owned building, yeah. just like the library is, but uh, yeah, I guess I would think that mm -hmm. as long as the, they follow the protocols established either by the state or or the uh, our local board of health, I, I don't see any any problem with doing a one a partial opening or remote or curbside or whatever they're calling it. Joyce, do you have any problem? Any concern? Oh, um, well, the, the audio has been in and out um, uh, a bit for this conversation, but I had uh, uh, talked to by email some folks from the library. Um, I understand, same as you, Fred, that uh, it's really the library trustees, but my, um, my understanding is they have been consulting with the Board of Health, um, that they've got protocols in place from when they were like remote open, you know, make, people could make reservations for a time period and they had cleaning protocols and so on. Um, so if that's all in shape, I don't have any, um, I don't have any problem issuing the advisory that, um, kind of that, that says we're fine because you've been consulting with the Board of Health, but we don't really tell you whether you're open or not. That's your trustees and, and really the Board of Health. 
So I, 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 I'm not sure what we'd be voting on. It might be just sense of the room. Um, yeah. But uh, I, I think they should be able to do the very limited number of things that they're saying they want to do. And um, they seem to already have gotten a sign off from the Board of Health. Okay, I guess that's, I kind of kind of agree with what you're saying as well. So yeah, yeah. I, I it, it, it seemed like similar to what you were saying. Right. Jonathan, do you have anything you want to say about the library opening? Um, you know, they, they, you know, people are responsible for the safety. If they think they can do it responsibly, um, as long as we're also still doing contact tracing. Um, you know, I, I, I think that's fine. I, I want to just throw out the cautionary tale that as people get vaccinated, just because you are vaccinated does not mean you cannot transmit this disease to somebody else. Um, and so mask wearing still is, is critically important. Um, it's not about your health after you get an immunization or a vaccine. It's about somebody else's health. So open up, but really, 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 if you don't wear a mask, and and you can still transmit this this disease to somebody else and and you don't want to be responsible for that for, for for someone's for someone contracting this so open up but but be very smart and be very do it with with very much open eyes okay brian uh what else did you want to talk about here are the opening town offices yeah that was that was just an aside for the library so to respond to some emails that that I had received. Um, yeah, so the question, I'll pose the same question as we did at the last meeting that is reopening the town offices. Um, I guess I guess we're trying to get a grasp on when, when that should happen. Um, I mean, the recommendation would be that, that we reopen as we did in the same fashion. Um, when cases declined after last spring. Um, I, I thought everybody did a pretty good job. Um, it would just be the, the front lobby window, uh, just that area, everything else would be would be uh, close to the public. Um, we still have the plexiglass partition above the, the town clerk, treasurer collector window. Um, that would remain. We have the two um, Medify air filtration units that are in the hallways there. Uh, we've had the UVC lights installed on the uh, air handler units. Um, so, I mean, I feel pretty good about, about the setup that we have. There's very minimal, you know, contact from employees to the public. Um, but uh, there's still cases out there. I, don't, I believe we're either at, we're probably at zero by now. Um, I haven't heard of any new ones in the past couple of weeks. Um, but it's, I, I don't know what everybody's, what everybody's feeling is. So what, what three mornings are you proposing to be open? Um, I mean, the thinking right now would have been Monday, would be Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. I, I think we would, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday would would be what we're looking at. Okay. I guess I'll use the, I'll, I'll say the same thing I just said for the library. If you guys think you can do it safely, that's fine. But keep in mind that, you know, mask mandate is still, is still critical. Um, and, and, and don't let vaccines fool you. You can still contract it from someone who has gotten a vaccine uh, and they can give it to you. So if you want to do it, Brian, I would say, go ahead and do it. But you know, the cautionary tale is you got to be careful. Yeah, I, I I have no problem with it. As long as it, our employees there feel comfortable with it. You know, if there's a, a large surge of people coming in and people milling around and, and they don't want to leave or there's no control or they're not wearing masks, well, then, then I, I guess uh, we could make another decision. But if that doesn't happen and they're comfortable, Employees are comfortable dealing with the people and, and they're vigilant and following all the PPE. Well, then I guess we can try it. I mean, yeah. yeah. I think it's, it actually says, I'm looking at the, the board and the materials. 
Um, the very number one is people are required to wear face coverings in all public locations, you know, including inside and outside. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that's not being just people into the buildings now so that the inside part actually applies. Right. And, and it's on a limited basis. And I was for this two weeks ago and I'm still for it. And, and the people coming into the building have to wear masks, obviously. It's not just requirement for the employees. Right. right. Oh, yeah. I think that's obvious in the declaration. Yeah. That's, I mean, it's not, number one. It's really all it because yeah. th these days, I don't believe that anything is, 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 is totally obvious. I, I just want to reiterate that's all. Yeah. All persons. Okay. I hear a motion to open the town offices. Well, I'll make the motion to open the town offices on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursdays from 8 till 12. Uh, the front uh, lobby there and any other business where town would be by appointment or advance appointments. Yeah, and we'll still do the, we'll, we'll still do the <clears throat> one person, you know, we'll put, we'll post the signs again, masks, social distancing, one person at a time at the window. Yeah. Other than that, don't come in if somebody's there, those types of things. Okay, I'll make that motion. Second. Uh, okay. Okay, roll call vote. Joyce? Aye. Jonathan? Yep. Fred? Yes. And, and to, just, to, just to clarify, to avoid the, the surge of people we could expect tomorrow, the <laughs> idea was that this would be effective on Monday. On Monday, but, uh, yeah, on March Monday. 15th. Monday, yep. March 15th. Okay. Okay. Well, I think the is the excise taxes are due next week sometime. Isn't there a date? 18th, 17th? I'd have to double check, but it, that sounds about right. Yeah. Okay. Well, the drop box is still there. Right. Yeah. Anything, anything else on COVID-19? No. <clears throat> okay. Moving on. Uh, old business. Discuss the application for a cover replacement municipal assistance grant. And Brian, you sent us the, the application that gave us all the details about that. And that, that grant for, we're, at, we're applying for what, 56,000 is just to study and, and design the culvert for that location on, on Christian Lane. Uh, that can, it has, does not include construction costs, right? So that would come at a, at a later time. Okay. Yeah, it's so, do we have a date, a, a submittal date here, a deadline date? Yeah, it's due March 18th. Um, so we would we would resubmit. I mean, we'll try to get an update for the um, for the S, for the for the estimate for the uh, design and engineering. But it's a it's a small grant program. Um, it's geared towards or focused on um, waterways that have. Uh, um, significance in terms of environmental significance. So the reason that this particular location qualifies is it's, um, what is it? It's the brook is in the top 10% for uh, cold water stream crossings. Uh, there's, a, there's a statewide GIS data layer that identifies the top 10 cold water stream crossings. Um, it's identified in the top 10 for replacement based on the waterway itself and then also the conditions of the of the culvert. So um, we would want to apply for this again um, and hopefully we get some money to uh, for design. I mean it would it would it would line up nicely if we could pay for the design for this culvert and then it could be construction for an MVP grant, MVP action grant. Um, but that's that's hoping that it would line up right. Um, okay. It'll be an MVP grant likely next year because we'll they're not going to design it by May or June. So, okay. And if we got this money right now, we'd have to advertise for uh, for an engineer to uh, uh, design firm to do the engineering on it, right? Yeah, we, we'd have to we'd have to go out and in 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 hire somebody. Yeah. Uh, engineering engineering services are exempt from from the requirements of 30b 
but you'd still want the you still want some type of Good process. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the only thing I would say, and I don't know if it if it would make a, a difference in the application to the state, is that the water flowing through this culvert does flow through a state highway. Eventually, it goes through state uh, state road. Uh, and and to to the Mill River. So in a way, it, I guess you could say it affects the state highway uh, hydrology of that culvert under the state highway. Uh, I didn't I didn't see any reference to that. I don't know if that would add any more emphasis to this or not. Uh, yeah. And and it also well it merges really with. You could say uh, drainage from it from Interstate 91 that flows through the state through State Road. I 91 goes behind that property that was built that way, and it feeds into the Mill River. So this water from this culvert on Christian Lane merges with the water from I 91 to go under State Road into the Mill River. So, you know, I don't know if any, any language like that would, would put more emphasis on this that it does affect us, could potentially affect the state, the state highway there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we need to, do we need to act? Do we need, or? Yeah, you would want to vote to submit the the grant application for Christian Lane. I'll make a motion, even though I don't understand why we need to make a motion to submit a grant, but I'll make the motion anyway. Okay. Second. Okay. I second it. Uh, roll call vote. Joyce? Aye. Jonathan? Yep. Fred? Yes. Okay. Moving on to new business. Okay, the operating budget, we're going to defer that till. Uh, Next meeting, yeah. Uh, hey, Fred, I'm sorry. Did we take care of Allison already, or or yes. did I miss that? Or yes, we did. Oh yeah, you missed okay. it. Okay, I apologize. I had a meeting that was running way late. Okay. Uh, next under new business to vote on uh, FERCOG annual fuel bids, and I I think uh, what you said is Brian. We we get uh, we do our own bidding for. What diesel? No, yeah, diesel. Oh, was it diesel fuel and heating oil? Yep. And uh, the gasoline bid, we use the Furcock. Yep. Okay. And I, I, I guess I, I think we should continue with that. We're getting reasonable prices from uh, a local uh, supplier, I, I guess, on our own for the, our bid. Right, we still put those out to bid our, ourselves, but the the company who who we who we, who we've used in the past couple of years doesn't respond to the regional bid, oh, okay. um, but they respond to our 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 bids. But, but their prices have been less than the regional bid, right? Yep. Okay. So uh, I'm looking at this again. If if you're fine, I think I can probably sign it. I'm fine. Okay, that's fine with me. Joyce, okay with you? Hi. Okay. Moving on, uh, discuss, sign a letter endorsing historic commission application for the Veterans Heritage Grant. And this is for the uh, Veterans Memorial. Yep, the historical commission has taken the lead on submitting an application to the, uh, the vet Veterans Heritage Program. Um, they can get up to $20,000, uh, but it's a matching grant. So um, the idea would be that the CPA funds that they're requesting, that the, the veterans group was requesting, uh, would be matching funds for the grant. Um, and it would give them more money to do um, some more work there um, than doing it. I mean, really, the other, the other design was, was kind of, a, I think, on a, on a shoestring budget. They were trying to limit costs and things like that. Um, this will give them a little bit, a, a little bit more money to, to work with. Um, but if, if we wanted to authorize Fred to sign the, um, 
the letter on behalf of the select board uh, for the application, the grant application. So this is for this is for design and construction. Um, this would be for construction. Or for that as well. Okay. Yep. I just saw. I just saw today. Uh, there was a. I've seen a, a second a second design from um, uh, the company that the veterans group has been working with. <coughs> And there was a, there was a meeting um, with a historical historical commission representative, myself, Keith, uh, Jim Ross, um, to try to finalize some of those details. So um, while we're while we're talking about this, they the group has tentatively well has scheduled a a public meeting for the for that um, the new design that they're working with. Uh, March 29th at 7 p.m. That'll be a, a virtual meeting, obviously. Um, and we'll try to get the, the new stuff that Jim has up on the website um, in plenty of time before that. But that would be that would be a public comment meeting. Okay. Do we need to vote on this or do we just give give him the blessing? As long as as long as you're all right with Fred signing the letter. Not yeah, I'm I I'm happy to let Fred take care of that for us. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. Uh, next to discuss only a special town meeting in late March or early April. Uh, Brian, do you want to tell us what's needed uh, before our annual meeting? Um. Yeah. So we've been trying to hold off on gathering large groups, including town meetings, but. Um, there's a need for the for the water department to appropriate additional funds for the booster pumps to purchase the booster pumps that they're going to buy to put um, install at the main pump house. Uh, Mass DEP required them to to redesign what they were proposing, um, so they had to put in a a uh, three pump skid instead of two pump skid, which drove up which drove up costs, and they don't have sufficient funds to make those purchases. Um, you recall last year they had a water conservation order in place and that was really based on their pumping capacity, um, not necessarily lack of water in the ground. Um, so there's a lead time to get the, once you, you know, once you, we put the bid, the, the, the bid documents are all done. They, they were released today. Wayne went out and started that process with uh, soliciting three bids and they're, they're posted as required. Um, so there's a lead time, he's guessing between four and six weeks probably from by the time they sign the contract to when it's gonna be delivered. So, I mean, he'd like to have these in as really, you know, before June, hopefully, um, or as close to June as possible. Um, so we tried to pull together when, when the next date would be between myself and Lynn and, and the moderator. And um, we're thinking April 10th. The idea is that it would be outside. Well, we, we can talk about logistics, but the recommendation would be that it would be outside in the town office parking lot. Um, we'd hold it on a on a Saturday, April 10th, and we'd hold it at 1 p.m. Um, just the hope being that that's the warmest part of the day. Um, there's a couple other items that we could add to the. Um, to the special town meeting warrant that are that are not controversial, um, but if 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 there's anything that's that's controversial or not time sensitive, I think we'd really want to push that to the annual town meeting. That's not Easter weekend, is it? No, no it's, a, it's a weekend after. Okay, that's why so, we couldn't do it the weekend before. Well, Easter Easter is the fourth. Right, but I just hope people go away for that weekend. So I just wanted to. Yeah. Okay. And so, how much how much money are we talking about for these pumps? Well, they have twenty. Um, they might need another twenty. I think it's under forty. I, I but I think it's close to forty. And they would uh, they would they would need to take from their retained earnings at this point. Okay, so they wouldn't be able to. Uh, I guess advertise until the, the April 10th if we go for that day. 
No, we've already advertised. We're already advertised. You just can't award until the money has right. been approved. Okay. And then after that, it's you said six weeks to. That that, that was just that was an estimate. Get them. Okay. It'll it'll depend on the on the proposer. So so it's either it's either then or. I guess wait till sometime in June. I guess we're talking at an annual yeah. meeting if we wait till then. Uh, and what what other items would you have at the annual meeting? I mean, it's the special town meeting. Um, I keep a running list. The one that the one that sticks out to me is a request for. Uh, I don't. <clears throat> This might start a much larger conversation that we don't want to get into, but um, it would request a um, special legislation for a waiver for one of our part-time police officers to work past the age of 65. Hmm. Okay. Who there wasn't, um, there wasn't a lot of notice to, um, to, to the town as an employer about that need. Mm. Let's put it that way. Mm. It was like somebody's birthday <laughs> this month. Okay, good. Mm. We add the approval to use C CPA funds for the Veterans Memorial with hopes that it would get reimbursed by this other grant and they could do something this uh, calendar year yet for say Memorial Day, if it's possible, two months away, April into May. Um, I don't know what the requirements of, this, of, this, of the CPC are. Um, presumably they need to hold a public hearing before they, that's a question for them, I guess. Whether, uh, they, could, whether I, they could do it in time or not. I guess it's an opportunity there. We're going to have a special meeting to see if that could be done. Yeah, but it's not clear they can have a hearing in time. Well, what yeah, we, because we, we look a month away, four weeks before the 10th, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm more than willing to ask the question. Um, but yeah, I'm more than willing to ask the question. And even if they, well, I they, they don't, uh, I'm pessimistic that what they need to get done can get done in the time that we need to, but most warrant in some of that four weeks. So I guess I'm, I'm, I'm more pessimistic than you are that it can actually happen. Well, and if they're meeting on well, the 29th, well, I guess, well, 10 days or two weeks to, finalized design, I guess, and well, and, and what they're proposing, well, probably is not gonna take that long to do, right? A couple of weeks, maybe, uh, the most, so. I don't know, I, I think it's, a, it's an option to consider, to see if they're willing to work, if the, if the committee on Veterans Memorial is willing to work with uh, CP, CPC to, to get approval and see if we could do it at the special meeting. And it, it, that's assuming it could be done by say Memorial Day. If they don't think that's possible, well then maybe we'll just wait till the annual meeting. Yeah, and I don't know what the availability of, of, of contractors are to do the work. Yeah. Um, but your question is whether it could be on the special town meeting warrant. Right. And I can I can ask that question. Okay. Well, we're set on the 10th. Is that good with everybody? Yes. The idea would be 1, 1 p.m. So it'd be one route and we'll figure out the logistics. Okay. One, 1 p.m. on a April 10th, you're looking at? Yeah, we don't typically have large turnouts, but. Okay. 10 people. You want to, do people want to do an over-under? <laughs> I 
Okay, moving on. Uh, point Scott Jackson to the Open Space Committee. Yeah, we need a, a CONCOM representative on open space because there are a lot of a lot of environmental things that we discuss on a regular basis and, and that expertise and, and, and lens is important. And there is no representative right now? Uh, if there was, we would not be nominating Scott Jackson. Okay. okay. I think you're muted, Joyce. I think Joyce made a froze. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. So Jonathan, are you making a motion? I am. Okay, I'll second it. Uh, we'll call second. vote. Joyce? Jonathan? Yep. Fred, yes. Yeah, she said yes. Yes, Joyce said yes. Okay. Moving on, uh, town administrator updates, Brian? Um, so one of the, we're still working on, we're still working with FCAT and Comcast to try to, to try to make sure we can broadcast live from, from the, the conference room, whenever that happens. Um, we also met with, uh, socially distanced, of course, and fully masked, um, we met with Wasman, um, AV, uh, on state road, um, and wanted to have some discussions with them about about equipment that we might have installed in the conference room that that might make um, having our meetings easier. Um, and really the focus of the discussion was if at some point we are both in person and um, some type of remote um, participation or um, viewing by, by audience is more participation. If there's ever a point when we're on Zoom, but we're all in the same room together, you know, what technology do we need to, to make that happen? Um, we also talked about um, what we might need for um, once we get fully remote. Um, it was just good to talk to them from the, the, the technology side of it. Um, they, they do a lot of work with uh, some, of the, some of the cities in, in Hamden County. I think they do some work in Amherst as well. Um, you know, the, the towns are trying to figure out really what's the next step here and what, what do we, what do we need for technology to make that happen? Um, so it was a good discussion and they're going to, they're going to send us some ideas. Okay. So there's, there's nothing to report, but that's, there's nothing to, no decisions, but, um, okay. it's good to have that, have that discussion. Um. So when we're back, hopefully we'll be able to we'll be able to go live whenever that is. Um, so uh, Hatfield is having a 350th parade, um, and I, I guess that they're wondering if Waitley is going to participate. Um, I assume I will forward that to the police and fire. Um, I don't know if the select board wanted to, was planning on doing anything or wanted to do anything. The only thing that I've thought about, and it's what we did in Sunderland, um, th there is, you know, there are a few people in town that have a flatbed um, trailer. Um, we could buy some bunting, you know, the flag, you know, the old colonial flags or whatever we want to use. And um, I could see if the, and Joyce, she'll remember this, um, mm -hmm. I could see if, um, the Big E uh, will lend us again the the, the uh, person-sized model of the uh, milk bottle that we could tie to the flatbed uh, and and just have that in 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 whatever type of parade that they choose to 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 hold. Um, that's my only thought. <coughs> what are you you saying? All three of us would be on this flatbed with the milk bottle. No, I'm not. I, I no. I, I mean, I haven't gotten that far, Fred. I'm just, I'm just looking at at, at the visual to represent Waitley. Yeah. Um, I, I haven't really thought about social distancing. And I, I don't know the yeah. committee whether they're allowing people to sit on a, a flatbed or how it's going to be safely addressed. I, I, I guess because they're not. 
they're going, I don't know, 15, 20 miles an hour. So it's not a walking pace, but. Oh, so it's not a walking pace, the parade? No, there's nothing. Walk, nobody's going to be walking. It's all in vehicles or trailers. Yeah, like the, you, can like still drive. Mile route. you can still drive three miles an hour. Well, however, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, it's not clear to me it's going to be a walking pace. Yeah, well then, you know, I... But, but I just think that's okay. We can, no. I'm not sure at 20 miles an hour we want to take the risk of having that milk bottle strapped to a flatbed anyway because it's not ours. And it's a pretty cool thing that we would hate to see... Uh, wrecked yeah yeah it's paper mache right it's paper mache and chicken wire essentially it's dirty but it's not you know if it, 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 it if it hit it could get 20 miles an hour could get run over by a car and yeah it just right. no okay never mind then okay. how do we get it up from springfield if we can't go more than if we can't go 20 miles an hour with it it can fit in the back of a, a minivan i picked it up last time okay. yeah and then he uh, gave it to me and i put it in my minivan and it works out really. It, I mean, it works out really well, but again, yes, it has to be a, a slow. Yeah. All right. Back to square one. Yeah. And you know, as far as in a in a vehicle, well, it, it may be difficult for all three of us together. So mm -hmm. then you're having each one of us in our in our own vehicle or some type of some vehicle, I guess whether it's our own or somebody else's, but. We could do the typical fire truck and police car. Yeah. Well, okay. if, there, if there were a flatbed, I mean, I bet a flatbed would be big enough for us to actually be socially distanced. It's outdoors. We can wear masks and we should wear masks. Um, I'd sit on the back of a flatbed with either one of you. Six and uh and but i don't have like here's my problem i don't have a flatbed i don't know anybody who has a flatbed i'm working a job that's taking 100 hours a week right now right, right. i i don't have any time between now and then to come up with a flatbed i can jump on a flatbed and if it's outdoors i think a flatbed we could we could manage to keep socially distant and uh and you know honor our neighbors in hatfield I mean, I'm in Joyce's boat. I don't have time to plan. I don't have time to do anything these days. Um, uh, and I also know that that I could be have to cancel at any at any moment these days. Um, I think May 31st, I won't have to cancel because my classes are over by then. <laughs> but but up until then, um, it's uh, I'm really slammed. So it's. it's What's the date? And, and yeah, May 30th. Okay. Well, our, our parade is coming first, I guess, in April before. So mm -hmm. yeah. whatever we, we do in April, we may want to do for Hadfield. I, I don't know I, if Hadfield's looking for an answer. I, I guess right now, I'm just hoping things, conditions change, weather's nicer. We could probably participate in end of May in Hadfield to some extent. Yeah. We could build a float with a with a with a serrated break in the middle of it. One side says Hatfield and one side side says Whiteley. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I, 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 I did ask our, our fire chief, you know, what are the chances of us riding on a fire truck, either sitting down somewhere or standing and he didn't like that idea. He didn't? No, well, you you can't you can't sit on top. He says there's no really place to sit, or you'd only get two people on, on a top. Even the antique fire truck, he didn't think it was very safe to do that. So, uh, unless one of us wanted to drive it, and the other two somehow could be on it, but that would be unsafe. Uh, hmm. Yeah. I want to hang off the back. Well, know? back. I was going to say, Joyce, why, why can't we do that? I think that's where the firefighters are going to be. They get all the good spaces. Yeah. Um, well, let's give it some thought in the time that we have. I mean, I want to participate somehow, but I, if it's not walking, 
Well, well, we know Hadfield is not walking for sure. They, I think they told us that. And, yeah. And well, yeah. I think ours is kind of saying the same thing. So. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Well, and let's give it some thought. And you know the the other part of it, you know, if we wanted to look at, at ours, which is coming first, if we wanted to walk. I guess we could walk in the center of town if we wanted, start at the center school and and, and walk to the Waitley Inn if we wanted to be part of the parade in the center of town and then let it go beyond that. I don't think you'll see anybody, probably. Yeah. You might see a couple people. Yeah. You no, know, I, I you know, this and, and this is this isn't related to Hatfield, but this just makes me realize that. What we we should be doing is is celebrating our two fiftieth in on the two hundred fifty first anniversary. That's, and, and that's what we're doing. That is actually what we're doing. Oh, I I I'd forgotten that. Okay. Yeah, the only thing we're doing in real time is this April enclosed parade. Everything else is in twenty twenty two. Well, there's actually well, yeah, the one next year. We're not sure what that look like. Hopefully, it will be marching parade. I guess you'd say. Right, right. I was at the last meeting, so that's my brief update. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's good to know. Yeah. So what colleges are doing for their graduations. So if Hadfield is looking for an answer, well, what do they, they want something by the end of this month? Um, I think they said. Contact us, even if you're thinking about it. It doesn't exactly say. I mean, you know, I'll put a sign that says Whaley on the back of my car and drive my car. I mean, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just trying to think of, um, uh, yeah, can we de can we decorate a car? Can we decorate three cars? Just I mean, maybe by then I could decorate my car. You know, instead of saying just married, you say, I don't know. I just split up from Hatfield 350 yeah. years ago. Yeah. <laughs> To just divorced or divorced <laughs> 250 years ago or whatever it is. Yeah. Happily divorced 250 years ago. Exactly. <laughs> well, are, are we sure Happy was happy about it? We are. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Exactly. All right. Well, let's think about it, but let's not belabor the point here. We're, yeah. we're, okay. We'll bring it up again next meeting if we, th we think about it in the meantime, if we got yeah. any other ideas. Okay, Brian, go ahead. Sure. The last the last thing that I have is the it's kind of uh, unanticipated, but in terms of when we got it, um, this would be authorization to sign the the additional contract with FERCOG. Um, this is the twelve thousand five hundred for the um, for the conservation assistance for small communities grant that we had to 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 do the last half of the um, open space plan. Okay, I'm all for it. Um, and I move we sign this. Second it. Okay, we'll call the vote. Joyce? Aye. Jonathan? Yep. Fred, yes. Is this all of us, Brian, or just, just Fred? Um, it has a spot for all of you. Okay. Okay. Um, and there's also, so there's gonna be this document to sign. There's gonna be, um, there's gonna be two documents for the liquor licenses, or the liquor license for Quant Quant, and then one is a report to the ABCC saying that. There were no non-renewals. Does this have to happen tomorrow or can it happen Friday? I think it can happen on Friday. Yeah. Because yeah, I know I have something else to sign there and I just can't see myself getting there between between now and Friday. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's okay. I think we need to submit it by Mark. One of those we need to submit by the 31st and end of the month. But okay. And can you make sure that um and maybe this is a question for Amy, but I've got I've got something for open space to sign. Can you make sure it's right there at the same time? Yeah, I think Amy has it out there. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Well, I would move we adjourn then. Well, could I just, just ask maybe, Jonathan, uh, I think you're involved in the open space uh, survey that went out with the scoop. Did you want to uh, say something oh, about yes. that? Yes, thank you, Fred. Um, the open space, committee survey was in the scoop. Oh, more. Um, it yeah. looks great. 
it looks it looks really good for those we, we put it in the scoop for those people who wanted to fill it out or have to fill it out with hard copy um however when you fill it out with hard copy that means that someone has to you know transfer it to an electronic form so if you can the survey is also on the Whitley.org webpage. Is it on the homepage, Brian, or do you have to dig? Um, good question. Why don't we just look? Well, I, was, I, mean, I was trying to bring it up and my computer went slow. I don't want to stop looking at you guys, so I'm not going to look, but. I got. I should put in the budget for a new computer. Jeez, it shouldn't take this long, you guys. Uh, I don't see it on the front page. Okay, well, open space committee page then. Okay. It should be on the front page if we can we'll, find. It. We'll get it up on the front page. Okay. Anyway, at Whaley.org, the survey is there. Please, please, please um, have it as a family dinner event where everyone in the family opens up their own browser, and um, and fills it out to their own because and I say that I don't say that in jest I say that seriously we are looking for as diverse a population segment as we can get in terms of age in terms of gender in terms of uh, geographic splits in the, in the in the community we want this to be representative of the entire community not just the same 50 to 75 people who fill out every single survey um, this is this is important because it's going to give us a blueprint for wh where we want to take open space in the future um, again, it is in the scoop and it looks fabulous. Um, so if you want to fill it out in, in, a, in, a, in a hard copy form, that's great. Otherwise, it's at Waitley.org. Probably right now it's in the open space page. But Brian Domino, our August town administrator, um, claims that it will be on the home page, hopefully above the fold um, in the not too distant future. So please fill it out. It's important. Um, on any number of different levels and it should not take long at all because it's only a, a hard copy it's it's you know seven pages so with a bunch of you know fill in a b c or d um so it, it's not a it's not a, a heavy lift to get it done and it, and it really is important because it's it is the blueprint for where we go in this in this community for for open space usage so thank when you is, reminder Fred. what is the due date you're asking for um why did you ask me that? <laughs> um, I, I think we're looking for it in the next two weeks because we're gonna have a we're gonna have a public hearing and we want the results by the public hearing and all that stuff. So within the next two weeks. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Appreciate it. And, and if Mary Byrne wants to make that a special feature in the article in the Greenfield Recorder, that would be wonderful. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. That's a rival publication to the scoop. So I, I just don't know where I stand on that. You know, you're all journalists, <laughs> Joyce. You're all journalists. Is it behind a paywall on the on the scoop website? <laughs> scoop don't got a website. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anything else? I move that we adjourn. Second. Okay. We'll call vote. Adjourn. Joyce. Hi. Jonathan. Yep. Fred, yes. Okay. All right, record timing, guys.